Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we're gonna do a little bit different because we're not gonna do drawing, but we, instead we're gonna make a poster or composite image. And so I'm gonna make the same poster, but instead of Photoshop, I'm using Procreate and see if, if it's better or is it gonna be different. So we're gonna start uh, by importing the, the images. So add image. So this is going to be our background right here. So I'm just going to stretch it and position it correctly. And I'm going to make sure that I have like enough room for the text. So what I'm going to do here is to actually stretch this part right here. So in this case, I will need a selection tool, which is a rectangle. So we're just going to make this one right until it touches this point right here and then we're just gonna stretch that actually so we're gonna copy and paste it and uh, get this layer right here free form and we're just gonna stretch it hopefully it doesn't it's not that bad so we're gonna put the text right over here and we're gonna put the other um, image in here and make sure that we blend it perfectly so I'm gonna insert another photo it's kind of big so we're gonna resize it just right there then we're just gonna hide these elements right here for now and then we're gonna so we're gonna use a freehand under selection and then we're gonna just trace it and see if that's gonna be all right I think that's fine. We're gonna copy and paste that on the different layer. Um, hmm, this doesn't look, the edges are very sharp, but we're gonna take a look. Alright, so we're going to just increase the size right there. look bad actually so what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna hide it I think I'm gonna just blend it I'm gonna use a different brush like airbrush and then we're gonna blend it or erase the part that is very too sharp and doesn't look All right, let's take a look how it looks like right now. All right, that's a little bit better actually. So for this layer right here, oops, we're just gonna merge it. And the burger right here does not um, blend with the background because the background is very, very uh, vibrant and sharp and uh, the colors are not that uh, as colorful as uh, the background so we're gonna increase the saturation of the burger so yep hue and saturation uh, we're gonna do a layer so we're gonna see if it does work so this is like before this is the normal one but we will increase uh, the saturation and the brightness everything actually uh, to match with the background so we're gonna increase the saturation hopefully you can see what's happening right here I think that's a little bit better right now and we have a couple of text that we have to incorporate 
Um, I'm gonna find for the logo first. Then we're gonna go Wikipedia. Yeah, this one is a PNG and has a trend, doesn't have any any background, so we're gonna save this one right here. Um, add to photos. All right, we'll go back to um, Procreate. So we're gonna insert the logo of Burger King right here. So as you can see, there is no background. Uh, we're gonna add some text just to give a context but this one really looks good right now, so we're gonna put text. So the text will be B or Ray, but I'm gonna separate in different layer. Yep, we're gonna use Helvetica for this example because I can't find the fonts that I like in Procreate and I don't wanna spend time looking for it, so we're gonna actually... We're gonna edit the text and we're going to make it bold. Okay, when you're when I'm making a poster, make sure that it has a alignment so it's easier to read. So for this one right here, I'm going to select them all. So I'm just gonna merge them all at once. And I'm gonna duplicate them. And I'm gonna offset it a little bit. And then paint it with like orange. Okay, I'm gonna alpha lock it first. So when I paint it, it just stay on that layer. So I'm gonna paint that with the medium hard brush. And there you go. So that's the one I'm aiming for. So it has a good contrast. But for the white one, I'm just gonna offset it a little bit. Probably like there. And then I'm gonna put some uh, line right here. I will use my mono line and I'll make sure it's white. And I'm gonna put the logo right there. And I'm gonna... I think that's good enough. I'm just gonna put the burger a little bit higher. And I will write like 100% beef in here. I'm gonna push it a little bit right there. I'm gonna use a chalk and then I'm gonna put like 100, hopefully my calligraphy will work. 100% beef. And just put like an arrow. Just gonna select this part right here because I don't like how it is positioned. So copy and paste and I will put them right there and this one. I'm just gonna erase it. And now we're gonna duplicate that and put it on here. Let's say we'll take a look at this one right here. Add to photo. So we're gonna save this as this JPEG. So this one right here. So this will be our, um, like a mock-up. So I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna insert uh, the photo that we just did. 
So it's gonna be, I don't know if it's gonna work, but just to give you an idea how it looks in the real world. So we're gonna freeform it So this is how it looks in the real world. This is very important uh, when you're proposing the project to the client. Make sure that they have a good perspective. So this one right here, it's very good because it has a good contrast. And thank you guys for watching and see you. See you next time. Bye bye now.